guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. beautiful people welcome to this um, full moon in Pisces uh, reading it's also a twin flame reading uh, from today until uh, September the 4th so I'm using the romance angels Oracle cards um, I will be doing an extended reading after this which I will be posting in patreon um, or if you'd like to purchase the reading then uh, you can follow the link below. Okay, so I'll pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. Okay, so I hope you're all doing well. So the full moon in Pisces. Pisces is a very emotional, nurturing, loving, um, loyal, energy. Um, they're very romantic. They give a, a lot of themselves. Um, also, you know, the full moon is also about cycles coming to completion, so it's closures um, so that you can start anew. So earlier on, I pulled two cards uh, for my Instagram followers, and they were the Eight of Cups and the Death card. So that represents um, leaving the past behind you know you put a lot of work and effort into something and it's just you're not seeing the rewards for it so you're moving on um, then the death card is you know major transformation um, endings completions cutting away things that no longer serve you so that was a little you know preview of what this reading is about so let's go further into it Okay, so the bottom of the deck, let's do this first. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so the moon is all about, you know, paying attention to signs, synchronicities, the, you know, paying attention to your dreams, uh, diving deeper into your thought process, into your emotions, um, you know, facing your fear. So that's kind of what I'm seeing with this the red flags so your intuition is telling you something uh, and so this card is telling you to pay attention to that there's something in your life that isn't working um, you know and you know it, it might be a person who just latches lashes out at other people or you know you feel that maybe they're using you so this is an opportunity for you to really take a close look at the people in your life now this is a twin flame reading so um, this could mean that either aspect is, is watching the other twin flame. Uh, now they could be making judgments on that person or, um, you know, maybe they're self imploding. Maybe they're, you know, they are seeing things that aren't there. So yeah, it's just all about you know, really paying attention, listen to your intuition. Okay, so for the feminine past position, we have express your love, go ahead, make those romantic gestures. So the feminine, um, you know, what I'm seeing here is the feminine giving of herself. And the masculine energy here is, you know, not so much in that same vibration. They're not... Um, doing the same thing you know there may not be some reciprocation here but I, I see so much love that the feminine has been putting out um, and yeah uh, hoping for a return so let's see what the masculine is in chemistry there's a strong mag magnetic attraction here okay so the masculine I was wrong the masculine is feeling that vibration they're picking up on chemistry they're um, they're feeling magnetically drawn to the feminine and 
you know, also maybe making those gestures, those, those expressions of love. So there's uh, a definite activation here of chemistry, attraction, um, you know, unable to, to forget this person. They've left a mark on your soul, so you're constantly being drawn back to them. Okay, so in the feminine's present position is love yourself first. Yes. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Awesome. So again, there's this, this feeling of the feminine, you know, really giving of herself. In the masculine, you know, we, we see one foot out the door. He's on his way somewhere else. So, but the important thing here is you know, the feminine is in a very self-love space. Um, she realized that she gave a lot of herself in the past and she may be kind of pulling back and giving herself that love and respect instead. And when you're in that beautiful energy of self-love, then you attract, you magnetically attract love towards you. So for the masculine present position is honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So this could literally mean a honeymoon, getting away together, a desire to connect with somebody, um, to express your emotions and your love um, for that person. And, or it could just mean that, you know, you want to withdraw from everyday life, from people in your life, and, you know, connect with yourself. But what I feel here is, you know, this connection, this chemistry, and um, a definite desire to kind of sneak away together and, you know, just be in love. All right, let me see if all the cards are showing up here. All right, so the near future. We have children for the feminine. Your love life is being affected by children. So, you know, this is for those of you who are possibly, you know, in a karmic relationship while, where you feel that you need to be in this relationship because of the children. Um, and it could be the same thing with the masculine. Maybe, um, you know, he's withdrawing from the relationship because he is focused on, on children. So. I'm just going to pull one clarifier here using my deck. What do you mean by children? Just one card, please, Spirit. The Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is a very positive card. It's, you know, uh, happily, or it's, um, you know, feeling like your wishes have come true. You feel that you're surrounded by people that love you, um, that support you. You're riding this emotional wave of abundance. Um, so you feel like you're almost there. You know, the Ten of Cups is completion. It's complete harmony, happily ever after. So your love life is being affected by children with the Nine of Cups. Um, maybe you need to make some decisions about how to include the kids in the relationship. Um, or it could just mean that you're really focusing your attention on your children, you know, laughing and playing with them, doing fun things with them, right? So love yourself first, love your, your children, your, your immediate family, um, you know, that children give unconditional love, right? So the near future for the masculine, we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So what I'm seeing here is, you know, a feeling of being betrayed, feeling, um, you know, you're holding on to negative emotions from the past. You, you're now releasing those, okay? You are letting bygones be bygones. You are, you know, just like the full moon, you're cleaving away, you're, you're putting an end to things that no longer serve you and healing and forgiving so this is beautiful to see right um we see you know spirit is guiding him is there with him 
um, you know, and, and when you forgive somebody else, you know, you're not actually forgiving them. You are opening up a space within yourself. You are allowing, um, you know, love to come in, love to, to be expressed in your life rather than negativity. And when you're in that kind of energy, then it can only be good, right? So you don't have to like their behavior. Uh, you don't have to like the things that they've done, right? Just forgive and move on. Um, release the past. All right, so let's leave the final outcome for later. So what is in the foundation? Uh, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So here, you know, this is the union energy, right? So this is what both of you are feeling, okay? So as a foundation, the, here you are, the two of you, in unison, calling for one another, um, desiring one another. You know, even though you're not there with that person in the 3D, you're definitely there together in the 5D, the spiritual plane. So this desire to come together um, is what is birthing, you know, this feeling of love and connectedness um, on the masculine side and on the feminine. Although it feels like the feminine's turning more towards herself at the moment, that's fine. She's holding love in her, her, her heart and, you know, it's, she's not turning her back on the masculine. She's loving herself first and then she can turn it. Then she can give love freely to, to anyone. If you expect something in return, then you will be disappointed. All right, so let's move into um, what the feminine is bringing into the union's engagement. Wow, we got a honeymoon and engagement. So your love life is ascending to higher levels of commitment. Okay, so, you know, this answers the question here that the feminine is um, committed to this connection, you know, very similar feelings of, you know, both aspects are, are leaning into one another. The body language is, um, you know, love, connectedness, um, companionship, um, support, um, a desire to, to be more than you are now. So you both called in each other. We see this commitment, this desire to, to form a commitment being presented in the present moment. So the feminine definitely, um, she's committed. Uh, she, she feels that this connection is ascending to higher levels. Um, but you know, loving yourself is first and foremost with her and that's that's perfect so for the masculine what is he bringing in deception someone is wearing a false uh, self mask in this relationship okay so this goes back to paying attention to the false flag so deception the masculine feel is afraid that he's going to be deceived you know if i give of myself are you going to hurt me, you know, um, because I hurt you. Um, is this for real? Are you playing a role? You know what I mean? They're, they're, so they're questioning this connection. Maybe perhaps they are the one that is holding, wearing that false mask, which is why, you know, that forgiving and learning card is coming in the near future. Forgive yourself. Um, so I'm feeling these things, these aspects being stripped away, um, you know, so that you can see that true being unbeneath, you know, underneath, beneath the mask, you know, the soul, right? So what I see is ego being dismantled. Okay, so crowning energy, what do you guys both want? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, so what I'm, I'm feeling here is a desire 
for the two of them to come together and, you know, ask for help and accept that help. Um, make a connection, share a little piece of yourself. Um, but there's almost this feeling of like, I don't know how to do that. You know, the, for the masculine, he's looking at the feminine going, wow, she's just giving me this unconditional love. You know, I desire it too. I want to sneak away. I, I feel this so much love for her, but I don't know how to do it. I, I don't know if what I'm experiencing is real or not. So he, again, is there's this feeling of looking for um, yeah, looking for something to be wrong. Right? So the desire is there to reach out for both aspects. The door is open. Okay, so for the heart space we have make an effort. Very nice Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. There, again, is this deep love, this desire to come together, make an effort. Both aspects want to make an effort, right? And here at the heart space, we have these, you know, the, the child, the child within you, it, within both aspects, right, being represented here. It's pure, innocent, unconditional love. So we got this children, you know, maybe this means that you should return to that innocent, childlike, um, unconditional love in the near future, or, you know, just loving yourself, your child self, if you don't have children. So great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So follow your intuition, you know, really listen to your inner monologue when you think of this person do you are you immediately triggered do you withdraw within yourself do you feel like um you know they're just using you that they're putting on that false mask or when you look at them do you feel genuine love for them do you feel that love you know moving through your veins awakening you um you know, it's something that isn't easily ignored. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so final outcome for the feminine. We have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yes. So let it go. Let the chains down. Um feel passion, live passionately, um, no holds bar. You know, there, there's this feeling of withdrawing from your expression, but I think with this full moon, it's all about um, being passionate, being romantic, you know, just expressing your emotions, um, feeling love. Right, and so what I'm seeing here, here is the feminine being taken in, taken up by the masculine energy. Again, you know, we have this winged angel, divine masculine. You know, she called him in, and here he is, right? He was always there. And the final outcome for the masculine we have finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your life right now. Okay, so now I'm starting to understand why, you know, where this hesitation is coming from. Um, this card is all about all work and no play. So this is, you know, just concentrating on your finances and not realizing that the important things in your life like family and friends and play are slipping away, right? So what I'm... The message I'm getting from this is the realization that um, maybe you're afraid to go full in because you're going to be taken advantage of financially or maybe you just got too much at stake, you know. So let me just pull one card from the middle of the deck here. Wow, the lover's card. 
So the lover's card is passion, desire, it's carnal, pleasure. It is meeting your twin flame and having that spark, that desire open up within you. Okay, so it's almost like the, the masculine is, is concentrating on work, but really thinking about this connection, thinking about how he feels, how this love, you know, is his drive, is what he truly desires. So a lot of beautiful energies in this week's reading. So I'm just going to pull two cards um, for a final message from the universe. So I'm going to use Call It Baron Reed Enchanted Map. Okay, so what final messages do you have? For the collective, for the feminine first, field of dreams, and for the masculine, oh, follow the leader in reverse. Okay. All right, so field of dreams your thoughts feelings and beliefs are always engaging the vast field of pure potential this is the perfect time to harness the field of vast potential not yet realized in your life great abundance is yours if you're willing to do the work alongside the gentle gardener be clear about your thoughts feelings and beliefs concentrate on your best life regardless of the temporary outer conditions imposed upon you by the greater world which has its own story to tell you have a basket full of seeds that are quite powerful, where your talents are divinely inspired and will indeed lead to great heart harvest to be shared with others. You will reap what you have sown. Dream big, dream beautiful, take action, and tend to the garden of your life and experience the extraordinary. So what I'm seeing with this is, you know, those, those seeds of intention being sent out into the universe and having that passion returned back to you. Your dreams are coming true, so dream big. And for the masculine, follow the leader. Wow, and I turned it right to the page. So in reverse, let me just read the little caption here first. Okay, so every life is a teaching tool for others. Your authenticity and honesty are an example to those around you. All right, so in reverse. Reversed, the follow the leader card offers a gentle push to get up and take the lead in a relationship or partnership. Be the one voice that mu must be said. Muster your courage and speak your needs loud. Affirm what you like and what you feel. Wow, isn't that crazy? That's exactly what I was saying about the reading. It's like the, he wants to say something. There's something he, he wants to come out of his shell. Don't just hope for someone else to fix the problem you see. If your inquiry is about a career or a project, you must take the initiative to draw up a proper plan. And if it's about a personal relationship, you must be clear about your intentions and desires. Boldly begin a discussion about how things really are and how to make the situation work for its highest good of all. Do this as soon as possible. You may be pleasantly surprised by the results. That's it. Wow, that's incredible. He feels that chemistry. He feels this intense emotion for the feminine. He sent out a vibration into the universe that he desires her. He, he desires to get away, to be, you know, be together in an intimate way. But there's a false mask here. He's holding back. He's hiding from her. He's hiding his true emotions, a desire to connect. Right, so he must forgive himself, uh, forgive the feminine, um, forgive his parents, his you know anyone that's done him harm. Let go of that baggage, you know, and start working on the twin flame connection, manifesting it, feeling passion. Right, I'm almost seeing here, you know, maybe there needs to be a change in career or finances in order for this connection to happen and so then that's what happens you know he 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 starts working towards that however it's it's very easy to talk yourself out of out of that eh? and so for the feminine again 
sending those those beautiful seeds of intention out into the universe um, also with express your love again also with engagement making the effort a lot of vibration being sent out by the feminine um, and it's saying to, to continually do that tend to those positive vibrations um, spend time with your family your friends uh, everything's gonna work out your dreams and wishes are coming true um, and again you know that passion will come to you when it's ready all right so I do hope this helped um, please follow me on Instagram where I will be doing little mini readings every once in a while um, and also don't forget to like share and subscribe all right cheers so we're back so I'm gonna do the extended version of the twin flame reading so I got a different deck this is my deck I got two of them here um, I've already pulled cards um, with this deck here so I'm going to use my other deck just to kind of expand things so um, hmm. yeah I'll pull a past present and future card for each one of these let me just move these up I may switch around to other decks just for the heck of it so I'll shuffle this one as well Okay, so express your love. The feminine has been giving a lot of herself. Seven of Cups, the Justice card, and the Knight of Cups. So Seven of Cups is um, feeling confused, wanting something, not knowing how to get there, or having a lot of options. So it's an emotional card. Okay, so there, it's like, you know, she has this dream castle that she desires. Um, and you know she wants it so bad but she she doesn't know what steps to take now the justice card is karmic energy um, this is justice served this means that things have well, has worked out in her favor um, but it's you know what I'm feeling really strongly is the karmic energy that vibration you know the field of dream dreaming big and um, putting that vibe out there and allowing it to come to you Okay, so this is kind of saying that whatever happened in the past, whatever vibration you put out will come back to you tenfold and this energy will come back to you in a good way because you were, weren't were afraid to express yourself. Um, and we have that again with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is movement forward, offering your hand and marriage, um, making a commitment. You know, so this is coming in the future position. So this could be the masculine coming towards the feminine. Um, you know because it is about that return that karmic energy she sent out love the love comes towards her or it could be just the feminine continuing to send this feeling of a bond and, and connectivity and commitment to the masculine okay so on the masculine side we have that chemistry card so I'm going to pull from this deck destiny the heart chakra and the ace of fire so we got two ones with a heart chakra in the middle wow so destiny card so this is all about um, you know change uh, cycles of completion um, it's divine bringing you what you desire it's abundance um, you know and it's luck okay so the masculine felt this shift, this change. He saw things differently. His, he, um, you know, he put in the hard work and there's a sense of a payoff. And what was brought to him is love. With the heart chakra, it opened up his heart. He felt this deep desire and connection with the feminine. And it was something that was undeniable for him. In the future position, we have the Ace of Wands, so the go light, go time, activation. It's an aha moment. It's a new beginning. It's a thrust forward. Okay, so destiny brought him love, and it is, it's sent him on this wave of momentum, a positive, loving um, wave of momentum. 
love yourself first. Oh, let's use this deck. Two of Wands, the Strength card, and the Five of Wands. So this is all fire. Uh, the two progresses to the five here. So there was a door that was opened in the past. Um, this is expansion, um, opening yourself up to see all the possibilities, right? So it could represent an opportunity here. Over here we have the Ace of Wands, Two of Wands. So this this beginning, this um, opportunity was definitely presented in the past. So I'm almost feeling, you know, the masculine felt a connection and may have reached out to the feminine in some way, opening that door. The strength card is compassion, love, kindness, very gentle, nurturing energy. Um, the feminine, she... I feel with this that she's kind of turned within, right? She, it may, you know, this expression of love may have caused her to retract in some way. Um, to put herself first. Now, the Five of Wands in the future position is, you know, overcoming challenges, obstacles, somebody disagreeing with you, right? So the, there is a challenge in the future and it's presenting itself as a you know um an issue in the present because you know when you when the, the strength card shows up that means there's something that you want to do but it requires you to be in a loving space a gentle space right to calm a situation or to calm yourself and then so we see this expansion this calming this gentleness and then challenges all right so i'm almost kind of feeling with this is like you know what i've i'm creating this space for you to come home to the door is open um but right now i'm i'm concentrating on myself all right so you need to be in that space to overcome challenges ahead Oop, okay we need to go over here so the honeymoon is with the masculine god in the present Wow, third eye chakra, ten of swords, and wow, the strength card. Okay, so third eye chakra. Okay, so there's that activation, that heart chakra. There's this deep knowing that this person is your soulmate. And a desire to manifest it, to, to come together. But something needs to be, needs to end first. The ten of swords is, uh, you know, the, the ending of the dark night of the soul cutting away right there's that full moon flavor again cutting away the baggage the deception the fears you know and and learn and forgiving and, and learning from that experience so the strength card in the future position again there's this timidness this um, going within this gentle uh, energy in the future and so that type of energy, that home, that door open, um, you know, light will always be drawn to that, to love, right? You know, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It rejects the dark. Okay, so the near future for the feminine, one card for the past and the future. Nice. So the Page of Swords, past position. So the Page is somebody who communicates very openly, very honest, but their words are, um, you know, there's not a lot of thought process. They're very, um, you know, they say whatever's on their mind. They don't really think about what they're saying. Um, so this could also represent like creative ideas, um, um, inventions, um, you know, just a lot of thoughts kind of flying around in the air and you need to catch those thoughts in order to manifest them. So there, you know, uh, it's a very young energy. So remember that the main card was children. Um, 
maybe some hard decisions have to be made regarding children. Um, I don't know. Okay, but either way, we've got this so much love and and happiness with the Nine of Cups that, you know, whatever was said in the past is definitely overlooked or, you know, you know what, I'm almost feeling like this is, um, you're, you were thinking too much about something and now you're focusing on home and family and love and connectedness, loving yourself first. All right, so challenges, the five of wands in the future, overcoming challenges, obstacles. These are minor challenges. Um, I see that coming to a resolution. The future position, we have the Ten of Cups, so that like I mentioned that earlier. We got the Nine to the Ten, the happily ever after. Everybody's getting along. There is peace within the home as well as at work. Um, you know, you're doing the things that you love. Everything works out happily ever freaking after. All right, so the near future for the masculine. Five of Cups, Three of Cups, Six of Wands. So Five of Cups, mourning, loss, deep pain and sorrow. He felt this disconnect in the past. Okay. Um, and he was still holding on to that, that pain, but now he's, he's letting it go. He's forgiving whoever hurt him. The Three of Cups is friends, family, unity, union, um, celebration of love. So it's making amends, what I see here. Um, and, and just celebrating that you're, you're together again, right? So much happiness. Um, I see dancing, laughing, um, playing. So the uh, future position, we have the Six of Wands. So this is a very positive vibration. It's uplifting. Um, people are cheering you on. Um, there's excitement, right? So, you know, you feel like you're on the right path because of all of this ecstasy here. Because you were able to let go of those wounds, it shifts your vibration into um, like this fireball of ecstasy. So the foundation, calling in your soulmate. One card for the feminine, eight of swords, and for the masculine, five of swords. So the five of swords is projection of negative energy towards the feminine. Finger pointing, you did this wrong, you did that wrong. The feminine feels locked in her mind. She can't escape. Okay, so this, you know, could be energy projected to the feminine or projected to the masculine from somebody else. Um... The feminine desiring this connection and feeling locked out of it. Either way, there's all these thought, thoughts and negative, um, negative feeling, not really feelings because this is all thoughts, right, uh, in your head that were kind of swirling around and it all has to do with this desire to come together. And again, it points to that pay attention to red flags card, right? It's... It's almost like this final test. What are you going to believe? The ego that's a, that's a, you know, that uses fear to control you, um, or your heart. All right. So engagement for the feminine. Wow. Eight of swords. Four of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So Eight of Swords, repeating card here, uh, coming in the past, a synchronicity. So, you know, feeling trapped, feeling you can't like you can't escape. And, you know, that's how I was kind of feeling. I mentioned it in the last week's reading that um, having the channel forces me to think about the masculine when I did not want to think about him. Do you know what I mean? So I, I felt trapped. I felt um, like I had no choice. But really, you have a choice. You can escape. You can move on. You have that key to release yourself from that mental prison. 
the Four of Cups is somebody withdrawing, feeling disconnected, feeling bored, right? So, um, even though there's this deep commitment here with engagement, um, there I'm feeling stagnation, perhaps, um, and a desire not to return to that prison again. So there may be some guardedness there, right? So she's turning to herself, to her family, which is awesome. The Queen of Swords in the future position, this is could represent an air sign, or this represents the feminine actually becoming completely emotionally disconnect, becoming the Ice Queen. Um, now, this could also mean that the feminine finally speaks says what's on her mind um but does it in a very cutting way um cold way um yeah i don't know we'll see what the rest of the reading is kind of saying here because i see nothing but positive things now she also represents clarity truth um making decisions that are best for her not based on emotions right so she could be cutting away that four of cups um clearing away the eight of swords um retain returning to this state of mental clarity i will not be emotionally drawn into something that i know that is you know, I don't want to feel like I'm being strung along anymore. You know, I'm taking back control of my life. I'm creating love in my reality. Not hoping for something to come to me. Deception for the masculine. Two of swords. Five of swords again. And the queen of cups. So the two of swords. Indecision. Being at a crossroads. Not knowing which way to go. Um, needing to make a vital choice, something that changes your life, right? But you feel stuck there. You can't move. Okay, so again, there's this sense of desire. Um, but not being able to move forward because of all this mental noise. You know, these thoughts in your head are holding you back. Right, that five of swords again. Is she going to lash out at me? Um, you know, um, it could also be him needing to say some things to clear the air. Um, either way, there's that blockage. The Queen of Cups in the future position, this is somebody who's very loving, very nurturing, right? It's, um, like I said, the Pisces, the water, the romantic, um, loving energy. So there, what I see here is the mask comes off and it reveals the feminine, the, the one who loves you, not the, you know, it, I almost see this, this queen of swords as wearing a mask. Um, that kind of confuses things, doesn't it? Um, we've got two queens in the future. Now, this could be the masculine moving into this feminine, gentle, loving energy. Um, or it could be, you know, that he's, he really reaches out to the feminine uh, on an emotional level and connects with her. Okay, so for the crowning energy, we got let your friends help you. So connecting, reaching out, one card for the masculine. The Knight of Pentacles and the feminine is the King of Fire. So the Queen, King of Fire could be a fire sign, but this is somebody who wants to change the world, who is a leader, who's passionate, who is extremely creative, able to express themselves in the most creative ways. Um, so they want to leave a mark on the world. So there's this feeling of, you know, let's do something great. Let's, um, you know, let's do something crazy. 
um, yeah, I, I feel this desire to get together and, you know, change the world, like I said. The Manskins bring in the Knight of Pentacles. So this is somebody who's very slow moving, who plans out every step. So we see that feeling of having to plan for your finances, your careers, you know, make decisions. Don't know if I need, should make that decision. Do I move forward? Don't I? You know, so it's a very lumbering um, one step at a time. But it is a movement. He wants to take it slow. He wants to reach out, but he doesn't want to do it in this, you know, flamboyant um eccentric way that the feminine wants. She wants it all and she wants it now. The masculine wants it but wants to take it one step at a time. Doesn't want to make the same mistakes that he made in the past. Alright, so make the effort. I'm being guided to read this card for some reason. Okay. So this is in the heart space. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You receive this card because some action steps on your part are necessary in order for your prayers about your love life to be answered. Okay, so at the heart, you both know and understand that there are steps that are required. Okay? Yes, you see that, you feel that, you desire that. The first thing that comes to mind with respect to taking action is a good starting place for you. When you ask for spiritual help, you always receive it. Often this comes in the form of intuitive guidance, which consists of repetitive, re repetitive feelings and thoughts. You get the sense that you should do that or this or that. You receive this card as a nudge to actually take action. You'll then receive the next piece of the puzzle, meaning another intuitive message about what to do. If you like, you can ask the angels to give you motivation, courage, time, and energy to take these steps. Know that each, that each one brings you closer upon the pathway to great love. Okay, so, you know, the masculine's overall message from the universe was follow the leader in reverse. And so that was, um, you know, you need to take action. You need to make a decision. You need to... Um, move forward, right? And so I'm definitely feeling this shift in the masculine to to move forward for sure. The feminine has the door open. Um, she's elsewhere right now, working on her life, um, creating love and harmony in her life, and the door is open there for you. Okay, so one card for the masculine, two of cups, nice. And wow, the ten of pentacles. So the Two of Cups is um, recognizing your twin flame, um, you know, desiring to come together as one at, in the heart space. Oh, that's beautiful. Unity, love, um, commitment, togetherness. The feminine in the heart space is bringing in the Ten of Pentacles. This is a happily... Um, ever after manifested into the 3D reality. So this is completion. Um, you know, you, it's kind of like that retirement energy. You, you don't have to work anymore. You don't have to um, prove yourself to anybody. Your focus is now on your family and how you can help them in their, their future. So at the heart space, there is so much love, commitment to the future, loyalty, romance, everything that this full moon represents. Oh, beautiful. Okay, and so the pay attention to red, red flags, like I said, is that overall energy. Um, just don't listen to those voices. Follow your heart, right? So I'm going to pull one final message. So this will be a message for both aspects. Just one card, please, Spirit. Spark. Yes. I, I kept saying, you know, there's this, this spark, this ignition from the masculine side. Um, 
to move forward and its repetitive theme. I think I remember watching um, the Leo King and I, one of his videos was was talking about how the masculine, I think it was him, um, the masculine is shifting. Um, they're, they're coming out of their shells. They're, um, you know, really doing the things that they need to do in order to manifest and create a happy life for themselves. So that's what I'm seeing in this reading, right? All right, so spark for the feminine and masculine. You are a clear channel for divine creativity. There is a spark of creativity in you and you have every reason to move forward with optimism and hope. Open yourself to inspiration and allow life to show you its beauty and your part in co-creating it. This is a perfect time to give birth to an idea, start a new relationship or job or begin any endeavor. Attraction is high as you connect with others who co-create joyous experiences and join with you in expressing the finer aspects of life. Watching a spark turn to a flame and stoking that fire is a gratifying activity. Hell yeah. Beautiful. So leave the past behind, you know, and really pour your passion, your desires um, into those things that you love. Um, this is the time to do it. All right. I hope this helped. Please like, share, subscribe, and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Um, not only will I be giving you updates uh, and messages, but I will be doing mini readings through that as well. And it also gives us an opportunity to really connect uh, more than YouTube. YouTube is more, uh, it's too public, it's too open. Um, so this allows for a little bit more of an intimate connection. All right, so I love you guys, and I will see you next week. Cheers.